，欢迎来到邵老师的中文课。今天我们继续说第六课 Part One 的生词。第一个生词“行”，行 means OK, All right, well it works. 我们去看电影，行吗？行。So 行 ，it's just like 好 or 可以。不行，我要去图书馆。Well, it doesn't work. No, I can't do it because I'm going to the library. So 行吗 ？Equal to 可以吗？ Sometimes we can say we we can say 好吗？三十，帮忙，帮忙，帮忙 is a v o action word. 帮 means help. It's a verb. 忙 we learned this word before. It's a busy means something to do here. So right here, 帮忙 We can explain us do a favor. 请帮忙 please help. 请帮我一个忙 please do me a favor. So please help me with something. 别，我们在中文一的时候学别。别的 ，others， 别人 ，other people， but right here， 别 ，as a、uh, adverb means don't. It's like the warning or recommendation of people do not do something. So tell someone or request someone or warning someone not to do something. So, 别 sometimes we can use 不要，不要 do not to replace it. 别 is used to advise some someone to refrain to or stop someone from doing something. Depending on the context, it can be used to form as a polite formula, a gentle reminder, or a serious admonition. 所以第一个，别客气，别客气。Do not be polite. We can say, "Ah,、uh, you're welcome here." So for your welcome, another way that we usually say is 不要客气，不要 do not be polite. Or we can omit the 要，不客气，不客气 That's the most common way to say you're welcome. 二，你别说。You don't say anything, or please don't say anything. We can also say 你不要说 you don't say it, or please do not say it. 三别进来 do not come in, or don't come in. We also can say 不要进来不要进来 so do not come in. It's more a little bit commanding. Tone, 你不要说 is also commanding tone. Um, so it's perfect way to say 不要 use 不要 to use instead of 别 Number four, 那个电影没有意思 That movie is no fun, not interesting, boring. 你别看 Don't go watch it. Don't watch it. So in this situation, we usually just say 你别看 It's more like a warning.、Um, other people do not do、um, the specific things. So in this situation, we usually say 别看 instead of 不要看别 There's an example. 星巴克 Starbucks. 星巴克的茶很好喝，咖啡不好喝。别喝咖啡。喝茶吧。So, 星巴克 tea is very good. Coffee is not good. So, don't drink coffee. Drink a tea.
So you are giving uh, um, someone the advice, do not do this and do that. So we have learned ba means a suggestion. So do not do this and do that. 你明天要考试. You're going to have a test tomorrow. 别看电视. 做功课吧. So tomorrow you're going to have a test. Don't watch TV. Do some of your work. There's one thing about the be don't. We do not use it in the questions. Like don't watch TV. We can say 别看电视. But why don't you watch TV in English? That we don't say 你为什么别看电视? Because um, 你为什么? 不看电视, I mean, 别 right here is a suggestion or, or a recommendation or advice, but we do not have those kind of meaning in this question. So basically, why don't you watch TV is why do you not watch TV? So you have to say 你为什么不看电视 instead of 别看电视, because 别看电视 means a demanding tone of do not do this thing. Why do you not watch TV? 你为什么不看电视? 生词二十八,客气. 客气. 客气 means polite. So we usually um, will see one person um, express um, thanks. We'll say 谢谢您. And uh, the response will be 别客气. Or 不客气. So 不客气, we can also say 不要客气. So those three are the same. This is a very important word uh, we're going to learn today is 以后 and 以前. 以后 is a time, means after, from now on or Later on, was talking about the time. Ho, right here, means the back. So later in the back means later in the future. 四点以后. So it's after 4 o'clock. Uh, we have to know right here, um, in English, we'll say after first, then say the time later. But in Chinese, this is a switch on the order. So we say the time first, then we say before or after. So this place is the major um, place to cause the confusing. 你什么时候回家? So you, when, well, what time are going home, return home. So what time are you going home? After four. So in Chinese concept, we will, we will say um, the time first. So we will say 四点, but that's after. So we will say 以后. 我四点以后回家. So I'm four o'clock after, after four o'clock, I go home. So time and 以后 means after the certain time. So this is reversed order from English. And this is a very important um, pat sentence pattern that most people cannot get used to in a short time. 你什么时候去中国? 你什么时候去中国? After June. So which war we're going to say the first? Yes, the June we're going to say the first. 六月以后,六月以后,我六月以后去中国. So, After June, I'll go to China. 你明天几点去学校? 你明天几点去学校? So what time tomorrow are you going to school? After 9.30. So which word we're going to say first? That's right, 9.30. 九点半以后, 九点半以后, 
。我明天九点半以后去学校。So at tomorrow, nine o'clock, nine and a half after. So after nine thirty, uh, go to school. 你什么时候有空？你什么时候有空 ？Not until after Thursday. 我星期四以后，星期四以后有空。Now another word is similar to 以后 is 以前。前 means the front, so 以前 means before or previous or up until now. 你今天几点去打球 ？What time are you going to play ball today? We just learned before four, so we're going to say the four o'clock first. So 四点以前 But if we're going after the four, we say 四点以后 So you can see Chinese put people、um, put the time first. This is a spot, right? Um, this is this time first. Then we tell is before this or after this. 你明天几点去学校 ？Before seven. 我明天七点以前去学校。So we have to say seven again first. 七点 seven o'clock. 以前 before 去学校，七点以前去学校。So whenever you want to say before or after a certain time, you're going to say that time first. Now let's try to use some action replace the certain time. I eat bread breakfast. Before go to school, so go to school is an action, but because there's a before, before go to school, this action become the point、um, for the time. So before this point, which point? Go to school. Before go to school, I eat breakfast. So eat breakfast is the major、um, action here, and the major action should be in the back and go to school. With the before is the time or should be in the front. So, 我 go to school 去学校 before 以前 eat breakfast 吃早饭 So you have to、um, make sure you understand which one, which action is the main action, which action is the time indicator. So you can tell which which action is in the front. Uh, which is the time and which is in the back, which is the main action. So I eat breakfast before I go to school. I play ball after get out of school. So I had to be the first. Then time go next, and in the time we're going to say the action first. Then we're going to say after.、And、then the major action going to be the back. 我放学 get out of school. 放学以后去打球 go play ball. So the whole phrase, this 去学校以前 is a time war. 放学以后 is a time war. So you try it now. We watch movie before eat dinner. Which word? Which action going to be in the front? Yes, the before eat dinner will be in the front, and watch movie will be in the back. We eat breakfast before watching TV. Before eat dinner, before eat dinner, before watch movie, watch TV. So, 吃完饭以前 is a time war. 看电影 is an action war. We go singing after eat dinner. After the eat dinner is a time war. So we have to put that in the front. 我们吃完饭以后去唱歌 
吃完饭以后 ，time war 去唱歌 ，action war。